Hey guys, Ben1979 here. Gonna bring you guys today a review on the Berkeley Chapo 75, which is gonna be my new favorite topwater lure. And I can already say, guys, with certainty, that this is gonna be the best topwater lure you can buy plopper style. Uh, including some uh, compared to some of the uh, river to sea so this is the uh, whopper poplar 75 and guys the chopo 75 is right up there with it it's less expensive and it works as good if not better in my opinion guys so let's get into this review all right so i don't have the chopo 75 with me today i have the box although because the chopo 75 half an hour ago just disappeared in the river on a bass and i could see the bass jumping in the water i tried to run in afterwards I, the, the river got deeper and deeper and the bass was just f swimming around and i couldn't get it get to it so you know how it is guys and why did i lost it because i am hard-headed and i used quick connects guys these things the must had quick connect is absolute garbage and poof you should just get rid of it guys don't use quick connects i am gonna have to bite the bullet and just do direct tie-in on the lure every time uh, i lost one of my uh, you know river to c75 on a pike but i almost feel better losing it on a pike because i know the pike snapped my line and just you know snapped it completely on a bass it's less fun because you know it's the quick connect itself that just got open while the bass was fighting around and trashing around and the quick connect got open and it just uh it just you know unhooked right right from that that uh, little tie so right on that quick connect so anyway guys just I'm gonna roll in some footage right now and you guys can see the lure itself my reaction when I caught a fish and I'll even include the pictures after these two or three clips that I have for you guys I'll include a picture of the last my personal PB that I caught today on the stretch of river that I like to go on a new place on that little stretch of river my personal best for to for uh, up to date this summer and it was on the Chapo 75 guys and I'll include a picture after these two clips that I'm gonna roll in guys all right so rolling those clips in three two one hey guys Ben 1979 first fish on the Berkeley Chapo 75 had to walk in water to get it but uh, to to go to a place where I could fish in there was too uh, too much muck so the Berkeley Chapo 75 first fish after like five or ten casts, boom, there you go. A nice little two pound bass, guys. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I think I'm gonna love this lure, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk to, to you guys much, uh, a little bit more about that lure, but I think I'm gonna fall in love with this guy. And I think I'm gonna sell a lot, so I better pre-order before I close this video too. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pre-order a bunch. Oh well, guys, look at that. Look at that nice bass. Nice small mouth bass, guys two pounds beautiful I'm gonna unhook it put it back in the water guys all right just wanted to show you guys a preview of the Berkeley Chapel 75 guys Berkeley Chapel working like a charm okay, second fish on the Berkeley Chapel 75 I was just throwing my line on the water just to see if there was any frayed on the line and look at that little guy just popped up so that's why I like the 75 guys 75 size for either the river to see or the Berkeley Chapel because you can get small ones and you can get big ones guys Look at that little guy. That guy is not even a pound. That, that's under a pound, guys. So look at that. Berkeley Chapel 75 guys doing the work. Guys, I'm buying more of these lure. And I'm gonna buy more before. I'm gonna pre-order some before I post this video. That's for sure, guys. Just, just, just uh, you know, I wanna reserve a couple because I really, really am gonna start to like this lure, guys. I think this might be my new favorite. And I think I'm gonna say goodbye to River to Sea because first of all, they can't have any in Canada. And second of all, they're hard to get so i'm gonna unhook this guy and put him back in the water he's anxious to go back all right guys so chapo 75 working excellent yeah, guys another one on the chapo i'm just destroying him on this patch of river with the chapo 75 guys i think this is really gonna get my gonna be my favorite lure from now on especially less expensive than the river to seas and just 
works beautiful guys can't wait to post this video guys this is gonna be awesome Alright guys, so you just saw the clip and you just saw the bass that I caught at the end. So that was my PB for this summer. I mean, I, that, that was a 2.5-3 pound bass, so really nice fish and really nice fight. It went into the grass, it just, it, it, it just gave me a nice fight and it was on the quick connect guys, I caught it on the quick connect. But afterwards I threw the line a few times in the water catch another bass on the chapel 75 and it just fed it just got unhooked and i said dude did it snap my line should i retied and when i came back the quick connect was still there but the lure wasn't there so yeah that's my bad guys so i am the first one in the world to have the berkeley chapel and to make some video on it and i paid 25 dollars canadian which is insane for this lure and i've lost it after a few days guys so yeah really 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 disappointed today guys but anyways let me talk to you about the good points and i'll use the chapel guys for i need a, to use a berkeley uh, instead of the uh, whopper poplar just because i need to stay in the chapel line but guys uh what is nice about the chapel 75 compared to the the 90 here is that this thing is wider guys they fix so much bugs going with the chapo 90 it, it's not even funny guys uh the chapo uh, uh 75 guys is wider it's just a little tad bit shorter but it is fatter and it's fat like that guys it's just it's just going way fatter it the the mouth rises up in the water a little bit more uh, you guys could see that in my previous video but uh, what I can tell you guys about fishing it is when it sits in the water, guys. So l let me try to get level. When it sits in the water, let's say this is the Chopo 90 in the water. The Chopo 75 is uh, almost going to be like that in the water. What does that do? Well, that does that the Chopo 75, you can almost put your line down in the water. You don't have to raise your line up in the air as much. It's going to start plopping faster. It's going to start going faster. And I don't know what kind of juju magic they used on the 75, guys. But the 75, when you catch grass on the hooks, on the treble, and you catch some grass in there, uh, the tail on the back is, is going to jam up, but it's not going to start rolling. Maybe because of that wider body, but all it does, it goes on the side, and you retrieve it, and you it just retrieves on the side. So it doesn't twist your line all that much. So I don't need something like... Uh, like that on on the chapel 75 guys i don't need uh this even the the river to sea uh twist more in the water because it's not it's more rounded off than it it's square the chapel is more square and more flat so i don't know it just swims better in the water it gives the fish a lot more target to see and to to jump on uh yeah is this this thing is just thin all right the, the tail starts plopping but this thing is pretty thin guys the other one is just fatter so it gives a bigger profile and i've had fish small fish jump on the chapo uh fish small enough that they were just almost the same size as the lure and uh, they uh they jumped on it anyway so even if it has a wider profile it's a little bit shorter so it compensates but guys all the bad stuff that you didn't like about the chapo 90 for some of you guys that you do like the chapo 90 but you wish they had a couple of things fixed well, they fix on the 75, guys. The 75 is just magic. And it's just... The River to Sea 75 is my favorite because of the way it swims. Because it rises up in, in the water faster. But the River to Sea, the chapel rises up faster. It just almost stands vertical. So it's almost like somebody doing water ski. Just staying in the water. It skis on the top. And it just starts swimming and plopping faster, guys. Uh, guys, the, the chapo, uh, <laughs> I am really sad today because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get some more chapo 75, guys. I am really, really, you don't, you don't, you have no idea how much I'm devastated. But the next time I'm going to do direct tie-in on this. So anyway, guys, um, if you want the best, in my opinion, this is going to be, this is going to be the new hotcake. This is going to be sold out everywhere, guys. Uh, if you're a tournament fisherman, you're a kayak fisherman, you uh, 
you know want to throw the chop off uh, further away and start plopping right away the 75 is going to be the one for you i bet guys that this lure right here is going to catch more fish it's going to be in lots of tournaments it's going to be lots in video in the future guys the chopo 75 is going to be the best size you can buy for for the berkeley chopo guys i'm telling you right now unless you're going fishing for musky or giant and you need the 130 size or the 110 or the 120 uh, guys, the Chapo 75 is my new favorite lure, favorite topwater, favorite plopper style uh, bait. Uh, close second, I think, is going to be the River to Sea. And it, it's almost a tie between the River to Sea 75. But like I said in my previous video, guys, River to Sea, not available in Canada. I have to order it from the U.S. And I have suppliers. They sell the Berkeley everywhere in Canada, every hunting stores so i already placed an order for at my local one of my local shop uh i ordered six of these guys six three in the same color so mf bluegills and two hd bluegills guys uh this is the mf bluegill version and i ordered three of those and three in the um in the hd the new hd version of the bluegill so guys this is uh, this is how much i like this lore and how much i don't want to run out of it so uh, and I'm probably going to buy like one or two different colors that they have. They're going to have like the black one and the bone one. Probably going to buy one of these as well, guys. So hope you guys enjoy the fishing footage, guys. If you do, give it a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. If you have any question or you want me to do a follow-up on the Berkeley Chapo 75, even though I don't have it right now, if you have any question, you want me to talk about different points about the Chapo 75, just uh, leave a comment down below and I will answer as fast as I can. Guys, I'm, I am telling you guys right now, this is going to be the new favorite topwater lure for every angler in, well, all the world, guys. <laughs> the Berkeley, uh, is a, easier to, to get your hands on, uh, more ways to buy it. You can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it everywhere. River to Sea, you have to order from specific tackle shop in the States. They have a couple of places where they sell in Canada, but it, it is way more expensive, guys. So the Chapo usually sells for $14.50 in Canada. And the new HD version is going to be $16. So I got three of the HD bluegills and three of the MF bluegills coming in, well, in the next few probably weeks or months, or I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get to get my order guys but i'm really sad to have lost this lure and i'm gonna learn from my mistake and i'm never gonna use a quick connect for the rest of my life guys just when i use especially you know expensive lures i am never gonna do that so i just want to say guys also sorry for the noise i know the noise is uh the the, the wind noise is going to be annoying but uh just bear with it we'll bear with it with the fishing footage guys uh, hopefully you guys still like this video and I catch you guys on the next one.